Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. In today's video, we're diving into a level 100 plus run against Odin, Roger, and Rayleigh with no Robin Koala friend captains or any of the new batch at all. So, I do understand that a lot of people have been struggling to find uh, Robin and Koala friend captains. Obviously, they have been going around. And if you guys saw my first 100 plus uh, Rayleigh playthrough, we did use Robin Koala as a friend captain. But in today's video, I have two teams for you guys against Rayleigh. And the team that I'm using against both Roger and Odin for level 100 plus. So starting off over on the Odin fight, we're using a friend captain, Luffy and Ace. I do think like Luffy and Ace is very easy to find. This whole team is actually boosted and um, Luffy and Ace guarantee you one extra drop. Having your own Luffy Ace guarantees you an extra drop as well. So with this team, you're getting at least two extra turtles, plus you have the 75% chance of the rest of the batch. So that was the team, those are the supports, let's dive in. Now, I'm not 100% sure how long this team will work for, and once it does start to lack damage, I'm easily just going to replace the Luffy and Ace friend captain with a Luffy Yamato. Luffy Yamato still is a 75% chance to get a drop. It's not guaranteed, but that extra type advantage unit, the bigger orb boost, and the additional damage is going to help out quite drastically. So this team, it's no stall. We basically just make our way through to stage three. And that's when the content starts to get a little bit spicy. Come, we come up against Whitey Bay, who gives us bind on our middle row and gives us two turns of paralysis. So with the switchability of Rayleigh Gaban, you can remove one turn of bind and one turn of paralysis. And then with the support of Nami, we can get around another turn. There's also five turns of hunger here and seven turns of attack down. Rayleigh Gaban, get rid of the attack down. And thanks to Rayleigh Gaban and Robin, having um, their maximum hunger counts, you can get around the five turns fairly nicely here. Easily take out Whitey Bay just with the switchability of both your Luffy and Ace and the friend and your um, captain, Rayleigh Gaban. That way you get an attack boost, you get a chain boundary. And just with four units, you can kill Whitey Bay there. You don't have to worry about the bind on the middle row, like, because it'll just remove itself moving into the fourth stage against Whitebeard. Gets Whitebeard, seven turns of special bind, five turns of despair after sockets, and three turns of remove sound effects. Gets five turns of damage reduction and a two perfect barrier. A little bit annoying stuff here, but this is where Rally Gaban again is so good. Switch to them, remove the special bind, use their special, get rid of um, the rest of the special bind. You get an orb boost, you get an attack boost, and then Shanks can get rid of the damage reduction and the threshold. Shanks also gives you um, a conditional boost against defense down, which will be very, very handy on the final stage. Switch back into Luffy so you get the chain boundary, and then this this turn is just, it's free. Like, it's it's, it's not hard at all. You have two units hitting with type advantage here, and um, Whitebeard kind of just dies. On the final stage against Odin, Odin has uh, quite a bit of HP, and obviously that is going to scale with level 150. He's going to give you uh, 4 turns of Paralysis, he gives you 10 turns of Attack Down, and 4 turns of Bind on your Sailors. Then you he puts up five turns of threat. Oh, sorry, four turns of threshold as well. So he also gives you empty ant block and bomb orbs. But Luffy and Ace can actually just get rid of that. And then using double Luffy and Ace, you get an orb boost and an attack boost with the level number break five. So that works quite nicely. If you're using Luffy Yamato as a friend captain, you're going to get an orb boost here as well as um, additional damage against Odin. So that's where that's going to come into play. Buggy can remove the threshold. He also removes the four turns of resilience. And then with the Mister One support on Robin, we can actually get around the paralysis. Robin is an attack booster here as well. Um, so if you guys don't have your Luffy, uh, Luffy and Ace level in rank 5, you still have an attack boost with Robin, but obviously it is a much lower attack boost. At level 150, if you need more damage too, you might need to stall for some super swaps, but like I really don't think that you're going to need to. Um, especially if you're using a Luffy, uh, Luffy Amato friend captain. Their super swap's a lot easier to get, so like if you're going to stall for one, stall for that, but like that's that's the, sort of the way the team operates. Let's, um, let's fast forward to the, the Roger fight now. Oh, actually, let's see how many turtles we get first. So we got five turtle drops there. Really, really nice stuff. As you can see, we got some pretty good luck there, and we got some turtles. On to Roger. All right, so against Roger, we are using a friend captain, Luffy and Ace, once again. And this is the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this particular fight was built for Luffy and Yamato. Once the damage starts to struggle, obviously, I'm just going to bring my own Luffy. Uh, sorry, bring a friend captain, Luffy Yamato. And then that way, we can um, sort of get around the content that way. But the upside to Luffy and Ace is they have a very similar switch ability to Luffy Yamato. So if you run both of them as your captains, you can actually get around all the shenaniganry on stage three, which made Luffy and uh, Yamato so good for this particular fight. There's also a lot of bind here as well, and Luffy and Ace actually remove bind. So that sort of synergy works out quite nicely. As for the team, it's basically just the Luffy and Ace batch with Odin Toki. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Nothing too crazy. All these units were sort of built for this particular content. The only thing that you do need is a bind reducing support for any of your units that will trigger on activation. And the one that I'm using is actually the treasure map rare recruit Otama on Luffy and Ace because um, it needs to be um, something that triggers on turn four, I think, not turn three. 
if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's got to turn, trigger on turn four, not turn three. And if you use something like Rayleigh on Luffy, it's actually going to trigger right here, which is a bit annoying. But on stage three, Shanks and Buggy give you six turns of Despair and ten turns of uh, Slot Bind. You literally just swap your Luffy Aces, or if you're using Luffy Yamato as a friend captain, swap with them too. And that will just remove this from your captains. On top of that, you'll turn into a type advantage unit with Ace. Ace gives um, matching orbs, which means that you're getting a big captain ability. And then literally with Odin, Toki, and your two captains, you can easily kill here. Um, with the type advantage, there's no issues whatsoever. Once you move into stage four, we come up against... Um, is it Odin? No, Rayleigh Gabon. We come up against Rayleigh Gabon, and they are going to bind our bottom row for seven turns after sockets and give us six turns of special bind. Also give us six turns of attack down and six turns of burn. So this is where Atama is really, really good. We can remove two turns of the bind, so then Luffy and Ace can remove the rest. Nami can remove the special bind and the burn. Uh, Usopp can remove the uh, attack down, but if you switch with Odin and Toki before you use the special of Luffy and Ace... You not only get their orb boost, but you also get their attack boost, which is super, super nice to just bink out damage to this particular stage. So switch with Odin Toki first, that way you get the attack and the orb boost of Luffy and Ace. You um, unfortunately can't burn the enemy, but we do get the conditional with um, Usopp anyway, so that's quite nice. And then we can easily just take down this particular stage with um, just our normal taps. I like to keep one strength variation of Luffy and Ace because then we have type advantage on the final stage and that works out quite nicely. Moving on to Roger, he does turn into a dex unit. As I mentioned, we do want the type advantage there. We get seven turns of despair, seven turns of paralysis. He puts up six turns of damage reduction and he gives us chain coefficient reduction. So having that crocodile support on Robin is actually really nice, but you can just switch with Luffy Ace, that also works. We have a chain boosting support, whether you use like Mr. One or Zoro, any of that sort of stuff works. And ideally, you want to switch with Odin and Toki again. Like, I know I was rambling on about that and I forgot to do it. But switch with Odin and Toki, so that way Luffy and Ace give you an attack and an orb boost. Um, that works better. But then Robin can give you an attack boost if you kind of stuff it up like you saw here. But Robin's great because she removes the damage reduction. And with that, you should have enough damage to take down this particular stage. Um, this team, like I said, like the last one against Odin, it's not going to work forever. Um, but it does have a lot of damage, which is great. It has a lot of buffs on the final stage. So hopefully... Um, it can get the chocolates for a little while, but they were the mini boss fights. Um, level 100 plus, getting like a lot of drops there. I've hit the 500 turtles as well, and PKA has only been out for like four days. So getting the 500 turtles this time was actually pretty easy. And once you hit level 100, like it seems like you're going to fight both mini bosses, like a majority of the time anyway. So lots of extra drops there. As you can see, you love to see that with the full boosted teams. Even though they're not 100% drops, you're still getting some, some pretty good rewards there. So let's wrap up this map and move on to the final, final fight. Um, I've been taking Cola over Turtles, but I've been prioritizing green tickets for these ba uh, battle victories. So that's been the plan. Obviously, as well, make sure to do your PvP fights as well, so that way you can get some drops as well. All right, so we wrapped up the PvP fight. I just wanted to show you, like, like this, this PvP fight's super easy. You just run, like, your fastest killing team. Um, but ideally, you want to not only do it for the Chopper Man missions, but you want to do it for the drop that you get at the end. Uh, this particular drop's really good. You can build up stuff like Rumble Scrolls, or you can get green tickets. Also, we had a Rainbow Chest on our map. You want to prioritize Rainbow Chests because they do have a chance of Super Cola. But look, 99.9% .9 of the time, you are going to see something like this. And you're just going to get a bunch of gold statues. On to the Rayleigh fight now. The team looks a little bit like this. Um, unfortunately, it does involve stalling. But we do have some contingency plans to help us out here that aren't overly essential. But definitely make the run faster. The Carrot on Chopper is literally just here for cooldowns. Um, the Nami support on uh, Luffy and Ace gives everyone one turn of cooldown when you get paralyzed. So that works great. And the friend captain, as you can see, is not Koala and Robin. It's actually Uta. Uta's great because she can remove special reverse as well. Our captain is Super Tandem Law. And a big reason we're using Super Tandem Law is so that we have access to a Super Tandem for a lot more damage as well. So on the first stage, um, we are going to stall a little bit. Unfortunately, we are going to take 5,000 damage every single turn because we uh, have that debuff where we basically just take damage over, over time. So it's a little bit annoying there. And we also get empty orbs too. That's something to note. So be very, very careful of that. But the big gimmick here is you take damage every single turn and then there's like pain debuffs and if your HP is at certain thresholds, the enemy does certain things. But I actually stall like one too many turns, I'm pretty sure here. Because um, you need Chopper's special ready by turn four. Um, that's really the big thing. But it's pretty easy to actually get Chopper's special ready to go if you are using Nami and you are using Carrot. Otherwise, you can just stall a little bit longer on those, tur on those turns there. It's not really the be-all, end-all. But on stage um, three against Mont Black, you are going to get one turn of Paralysis. Law removes that, but again, like just cop that one turn of cooldown thanks to Nami uh, for everyone when you get Paralysis, which is great. And you get Binded on your bottom row and top left for five turns after sockets. Utilizing Luffy and Ace here is great because they can just remove that. They give you a conditional boost as well because our captain is a quick unit. 
and that's just super nice. We're going to pop Uther here as well, so that way we start getting that song buff and we can move the attack boost into the final stage. Plus, we're going to use her super class here as well to increase our HP threshold, as well as give us a little bit of a heal. Now, the reason we're using this here, even though we have the HP reduction debuff, is because when you actually move into this stage against um, Shuten Maru, uh, yeah, yeah, no, Senta Maru, Senta Maru. I always get him and Shuten Maru mixed up. Once you're into this stage here, if you're below, um, 90% HP, you get the new ultimate pain debuff, which means you take 20,000 damage whenever you use anything that's not a single tap, whether that be super class, super type, uh, swap abilities, verse abilities, specials, anything at all, you will take 20,000 damage, which is a lot. So the big reason we have Chopper here is to remove the despair that he inflicts, as well as give us a nice chunky heal. And as you can see, we're, we're basically full HP thanks to that super class as well. And we have a lot of healers on this particular team as well. So all we need to do is use Chopper on this particular stage. I was planning on using um, Corazon here as well. But I thought, hey, I've got so much HP that I can literally just use the super class and not worry about it. And I'll just save Corazon for the final stage. Corazon can give us a full board of orbs. And if, if you don't have Corazon, like, don't stress. You can basically just use any other um, quick unit that will sort of give you some heals or is sort of like a cerebral now as you saw there i hit three perfects chopper you need to hit three perfects to carry over his color affinity boost and then you kind of need to like hit three greats so be careful with what ship you guys use there and make sure you are doing some good taps so you can actually get that color affinity on the final stage because on the final stage you can't use an orb boost you can't use color affinity and it's very very annoying so on the final stage there is six turns of attack down seven turns of damage reduction seven turns of threshold uh, if you're below 50% HP when you move into the stage as well, you can only tap with four units. So that's where that pain debuff is so goddamn annoying. But we're going to switch with Luffy and Ace. They are going to give us a, a chain boundary effect, which is awesome. We have um, Corazon for some healing and some matching orbs, namely to get the tandem orbs ready for... Um, uh, what's his name? For Law. So that way we can um, get that popping. Ideally, you want to swap... Corazon and Chopper's placement, so that way your super tenable sort of lines up a bit better. But we have an attack boost with Uta, an orb boost with Uta. We have color affinity thanks to Chopper, base stats thanks to Robin and Jinbei. Uh, we have the tap shenanigans with Law. We also have a like a small chain boost, and then we have the super tenable here. And as you can see, we, we can do quite a bit of damage. So I'm not 100% sure if it'll work up to level 150, uh, but it does seem like it's a very stable and very good team that has a lot of damage output. If you guys want a bit of a faster team though with robin koala you, i'll leave a link to my my first video in the comment section below but let's move on to the final team of this particular video fortunately we only get one guaranteed drop but look at the end of the day we're just trying to get to 150. the final team of the video you just utilizes my boy shanks crew as a captain shout out to my homies in the poll that have voted this guy their favorite julian at six plus shanks crew stands rise up but we're also using the speed demon goats of Cat Viper and Dog Storm. You love to see that. That's the team, those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this is a no stall team that doesn't use Robin Jimbei or Koala and um, Robin as a friend captain. So, a lot of people, like everyone's teams that I've seen, have always had Robin Jimbei, and rightfully so. They basically have cheat code for the final stage. But with this particular team, we actually don't have to worry about the damage reduction or the threshold thanks to Dogstone being our captain, which is super nice. Now, we are going to take 5,000 damage every single turn, which is a little bit annoying, but utilizing Shanks as a captain um, allows us to get um, color affinity moving into the final stage. So it's a big reason why I'm using Shanks as our captain. Um, this team will not last forever. I, I definitely know that um, because it has a chain lock, which is just infinitely less valuable than what we just saw on the last team. But it is a no-stall team, and if you're looking for something to get you from level 100 to, say, like, level 130 or level 140, whenever this team basically caps out, um, it, it, it should be the play for you. But against Mont Black, we are using Nami again to remove the paralysis. Um, she gives us cooldowns as well, which is essential for this particular team. Um, so that way you can get your Cap Viper and your Hiori special ready to go. And on turn 3, we're just using Luffy Ace once again to remove the blind. We're going to switch into the Psy variation of Shanks after we use Luffy and Ace's special. And then we're going to use the super type, oh sorry, super class of Dogstorm. That way we can just sort of avoid all that sort of pain shenaniganry moving into like the later stages. But if you're above 90% here, you're not actually going to get that pain debuff. So you could probably think of a way of doing some sort of like healing shenanigan there. But remember, Mont Black, he actually gives you like a damage. So that's a bit annoying. To get around um, the despair for this particular team, we are using Hiyori. But we do want to do some stuff first. We need to get around the special reverse that um, gets inflicted on um, this stage. And Cat Viper is great to give us two turns of cooldowns there. Um, Shanks crew are going to give us three turns of color affinity because we have a Psy Captain as our leader. And then we can heal back up, remove the despair with Hiyori. 
and then use Dog Storm to get an attack boost. Once we've done that, we now have an attack and orb boost that we can carry into the final stage. We have three turns of color affinity and we have a chain lock. Now, I do tap a bunch of perfects here before I hit with um, Carrot and... Not Carrot. Cat and Dog. They have barrier pen, so even being below... 50% HP means that we can still get through the barriers. Now, once you move into the final stage against Rayleigh, he gives you three turns of special reverse, six turns of attack down. He has seven turns of damage reduction and threshold. But if you're below 50%, like I said earlier, you actually can only tap with four units. Now, we just have enough HP to get us over the 50% threshold, which is just so clutch here because then we don't have to worry about getting that annoying debuff. To remove the attack down, we have Kdad on um, Hiori, and then we have the Chopper to remove five turns. Heal us back up above 50% HP as well. And then, because we have that, we can actually get through the damage reduction and the threshold very nicely and very easily. So, there you guys go. Cat Dog getting it done, as always, with my boy Shanks crew. No Koala, no Robin, and hey, no, no Robin Jimba either. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.